The talks to get the U.S. and Cuba to normalize relations were so secret, only 10 people in the White House knew about them. CCTV White House correspondent Jessica Stone spoke exclusively to one of the two American negotiators who paved the way for Monday's embassy opening. We acknowledge that this has been a huge anchor on America's position, particularly in the Americas. Uh, the rest of the countries uh, in Latin America have moved on from this policy long ago. And in fact, when we would show up at summits in Latin America, the issue was not what we wanted to talk about. It was always, when are you going to change your Cuba policy? We believe this opens the door to a much more positive engagement, not just with Cuba, but with all of the Americas going forward. You were one of two key U.S. officials who were part of the secret talks that led the U.S. and Cuba back to the negotiating table. What did the president say about why, why now? Why this time? Why June 2013? He identified this as a policy he wanted to change while he was in office. And what he told us is, see how far you can go. Um, you know, we wanted to get Alan Gross released from prison, but he said, don't stop there. Let's see how far we can go in pushing to change this relationship. And when the president went, for instance, to Nelson Mandela's funeral, he saw Raul Castro there, he shook his hand. When the Cubans came to that next meeting, uh, I think they realized that this wasn't like the discussions we've had in the past that never led anywhere. President Obama was serious about moving this relationship in a new direction. And suddenly the conversation broadened from just talking about these prisoners to talking about all these different as aspects of our relationship that we wanted to talk about, including establishing diplomatic relations. Can you characterize how the Cubans were in the negotiations? I think they'd felt burned in the past. And what I said is, look, you know, I wasn't even born when these policies were put in place. The reason I'm here is because we want to move beyond this. What was the aha moment for you when you realized we're going to get this done. In the fall of 2014, when we and the Cubans both traveled to the Vatican and we read aloud our commitments uh, that we were prepared to make. And at that time, when you're presenting those commitments to a third party, uh, you know that it's real uh, and it, you had the feeling that it was irreversible.